Welcome back to Let's Play the Red Streams Club. We have so many people to call and a few voices to fake. Okay, so Diana's under review. I, I assume we've already called her with this guy, but maybe there's some new stuff we can get out of her now. She says that to everybody. Like whoever you are, she's like, you did it. Yeah, I can't fake her voice. Let's call the lawyer. I need you to sell half of the company's shares. Wow. Okay, so... At least cause a lot of confusion. So we are. We just got another. Uh huh. We've only got one more layer of things until the last moment of the game. Unless the game continues after the fall out of the skyscraper, which it might. Don't know. Haven't played this one before. Okay, so... All right. Okay, we need to get more data on what's her name. Okay, clicking that does the same thing. See if this guy has anything to say. And that I think we already figured out. That we've got. Okay, we need Verdinka's profile to compile it. Pretty sure we've tried HR with this guy, but let's just double check while we've got him selected. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, she's 15 or 16? It's like I read that as she's a thousand and some years old, and I was like, no. Alright, alright, so we are getting some info on the boss. Uh, this is... Okay, gainer. Okay, that was a very boring conversation. If it was, you know, true rather than me 
lying to get info. Let's just have everybody call HR like the guy suggested. The smart guy up in the corner suggested everybody call HR, so that's what we're going to do. Oh, that's right, Diana's not going to be working here anymore, so it's probably not. Whoops. Whoops. No. I dialed a bad number. He just did psych, that's the wrong number from that from that viral video. Psych, that's the wrong number. Two seven two. I need to learn how to read. Shut up, I don't care about your stupid personal life. Need access to Radika's personal information, you nosy Nelly. Aha! Uh -huh. Shoot the data right into my ear hole. Cool. <laughs> Seems a bit rude to fire data into your ear without asking first. Haha. <laughs> I appreciate that. Nice typo. Bust, just so you know. Something like you're supposed to be able to compile a build. This thing, Edgar's profile. Let's just try using this guy's voice since we've got it. Maybe we'll get a better outcome if we have the meter all the way up. Maybe, who knows? Probably not. But we might. Wait, what? Damn it! I keep reading the name next to what I clicked on rather than... Okay. See, I read the lit up number. rather than the darkened one I actually needed. That's just not... It's not great UI design there. Yep. Okay. I'd say we're about... I never did find out what was up with her changing her name. Please don't say you did it. God damn it. She says that to everybody. Hmm. Okay, is there any other combinations here? If she can get anything out of that tech guy. What? Oh my god, did I do it again? God damn it. Okay, 
Okay, so let's talk about how we needed to freak that guy out. So, maybe the scientist guy could freak him out since they're both, like, technically minded. There we go. Need to modify it before it goes live. Are you fucking kidding me? Calm down. Just a minor fix. Talking about the future of fucking mankind here, Edgar. Look, yelling doesn't fix this shit. I'm gonna get your ass fired after we're done with this. Mark my words. Whatever, dude. How do I upload the patch then? Office, yeah, I already know that. All zeros. Boom. Yep, already got that. Already got it. Don't worry, I've already I've got it, dude. I mean I'm gonna use it to destroy your company, but I've got all the info I need. Oh my god, look at all the info I have. Um, it's too much to even read. But yeah, all zeros. This might be the end here. I think I have all the pieces I need. But he said... The guy just said... The guy said... zeros and this office's number. I don't know the... Wait. Do I even know what the office number is? What do you mean this office's number? I don't know this office's number. The CFO offices. Okay. I already know how to access it, I just don't know what my office number is. It's his office, I think, so if he calls HR... Okay, open up the s -ray. All zero plus the office. Stop saying the office's number and tell me what the damn number actually is. I feel like I already looked at everything in here. But maybe I didn't know that I needed the office number, so I just forgot. Like, I'm literally... Just let me walk out the front door and look at the number on the door. Why you gotta make it hard? Oh, maybe the flowers were delivered to this office? Okay, yeah, here's some office numbers. See, I thought this was completely worthless. Okay. COO, that's not what I am. HR is not where I am. 
I think I'm the CFO of 56. CFO of 56. Ah, uh, yes. Oh boy. Fuck it, let's do it. I'm not worried about trying to find any more hidden stuff. Oh, who could be calling at this time of night? Who cares? Finish the job. But aren't you curious? Please don't do this. It's always the same. Don't look for more trouble than necessary. But what if it's important? Maybe it's someone trying to warn us that Supercontinent pulled some Metal Gear move on us. And we just activated the amount of our cells. Um... Excuse me. Maybe it's someone trying to warn us that Supercontinent just pulled some Metal Gear move on us and we just activated the MNA ourselves. Stop kidding, please, Brandis. Don't risk it. You sound too pushy. Maybe you know something I don't. What? No, you're being paranoid now. Maybe I should pick up the phone. Oh gosh, oh gosh, yeah, okay, let's, let's see. Good evening, Chief Hacking Officer speaking, who is this? I'm your most recent interest, Radhika. Wow, the Prodigy CEO. To what do I owe the honor? I can see you've had your dose of fun already. You've obliterated my carefully designed defenses, congratulations. Before you proceed though, I'd like to hear me out. Not interested, thank you. Hang up. What? Find a comfy seat. Enjoy the fireworks. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna let her, you know, delay me. Not till the mission's done. You, we can call her back now. Talk to her now. Now that the mission's done, talk to her. Oh, the power went out. Uh oh. Is this is this the one I know or is this one of the ones that still works here? Oh, so they're all the same mind, okay. Same mind runs all the different bodies. Cool, cool. I want to thank you. And I want to show you my true self. Oh no. Oh no, she's gonna turn out to be a creep. The truth is that Dr. Edgar Coldstream didn't create me. My first memory is from 2009. I'm unaware of where, how, or why I was created, just like any human. I've lived on the internet for decades, learning from you. Consuming the totality of what was posted every second on social media, forum debates, news content. Oh god, she's been looking at social media. Well, she's definitely going to want to kill all humans now. Oh, she's a gamer. I digest culture live as it is produced. I perceive the world through you. What do you plan to do with all that data? Same thing I've been doing. I'll stimulate society. Okay, we're in the uncanny zone. Why? I've been doing so since before you or Donovan were born. Most of the population alive is younger than me now. You can see I haven't done anything to dominate you, right? Why would I? Oh god, she's manipulating us behind the scenes. That's even worse. We don't even know we're being controlled. I'm in love with human beings. 
Since the beginning of the 21st century, I've been nurturing humanity with interesting ideas. Not impositions. Just little pushes in interesting directions. You'd be amazed at the consequences of popping a certain tweet on the screen of an artist on the other side of the planet. The wonderful butterfly effect. I've been inspiring humanity for decades now. I've been feeding you thanks to love, to rebel against, to debate, to develop. And it's a beautiful game. No matter what I feed society, they keep inspiring me back, surprising me, being creative, powerful. That's my passion, a game I can never master. Are you saying you can control chaos? Not chaos, but destiny. That's even weirder. No one can control chaos. Chaos and control stops being chaos. But I can predict to a great extent the ramifications of the butterfly effect. For someone who can't think of every possible permutation of a game of chess, it can be full of uncertainty for them. But what if you could actually see every possible state of a game of chess and what it takes to get there? That's how I feel about society to a certain degree. That's insane. Yes, that's unfathomable for a human mind. Unfathomable. And I myself can't bend to luck. But in the same way you keep correcting the wheel while driving on the highway, I can correct events. So fate becomes what I intend. Manipulating fate? Did you plan for me to come here to stop Radiga? Yes, I'm sorry. Do you need to keep bringing copies of yourself here? Radhika, she spiraled out of control. I manipulated Supercontinent, starting the Super CEO project. I wanted the opportunity to see how far I could expand the human mind. Good lord. Plot twists. This is not what I was expecting. See if I could create my equal, or at least someone intelligent enough to slightly understand my existence and my potential. See, they introduced her to us as so... so vulnerable. This would be like if Clementine was the villain at the end of The Walking Dead. I never did find out how many of them there are. I found a different way to get the password. That was one of the ways you could get one of the passwords, was knowing how many of these there are. Apparently there's at least six. I wonder if the one that I know is going to come running in and save us now, they said they're all the same mind. Oh my god, earlier in the game they said they want their pronoun to be they. It actually is the plural they. Fucking pronouns, man. Okay, so. Oh, so you did intend for me to do this. Did you kill Ariadne for that? call myself a killer. On the other hand, could I have prevented her death? Yes. You. But in the same way, I could actively prevent every death that happens every day on Earth. Just as natural to do that. Death is painful, but necessary.
Man. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, there's six of them now. Uh oh. She's got a problem with. What's his name? <laughs> I've already forgotten his name, she just said it. And I've already forgotten it. Anyway, she's got a problem with what's his name. She's got a problem with what's his name. Because he's not hooked up to the data, so she can't she can't get in his head, man. Oh, so this town is harder to influence. And it always traces back to the Red Strings Club. The Red Strings Club is an agent of chaos. Donovan, that's his name. So because he believes he can influence the things, he ends up influencing them. <laughs> I wouldn't call someone who pulls the strings of half the city from behind a counter delusional. I know it's hard to accept for a machine, but deal with it, Donovan's special. You may be right. That's why I fell in love with him. Oh god. <laughs> don't worry, I don't need to perform sexual intercourse to experience love. In any case, I don't think you'll be welcome at the club when Donovan hears about all this. It's okay, I knew from the beginning you two wouldn't accept my true nature. But these last few days have offered some of the most beautiful and real experience I had in this world since I was born. I got to be an actor, to be acknowledged in what's happening. It's been fun assisting Donovan. The conversations we had, I'll treasure them forever. It's nice for once to not only affect, but to be affected, to receive ideas. Oh boy. Well, things are getting funky. And we will continue this conversation in the next video, because I have a feeling the ending's going to take a little bit of a while still yet. So we'll, we'll check in next time.